What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video today. We are heading into round number two of the Week 10 Tournament, the EA Sports Championship at Chambers Bay. And in round number one, we battled. It was a battle all the way till the end. Ended up finishing one under par in tied for 42nd place. The cut right now is projected to be three over par. So we should make a cut. I don't want to speak too soon, but my go today is five under or better. I know that is a steep goal, but I want to move up and try to get a top 20 or even a top 10 in this tournament. This course is playing difficult. Let's go ahead and dive on in, but let's check the settings here. We have one to two miles per hour win. What a gift. Tournament conditions, so we should be able to score well. We have a morning tee time. Billy Horschel is sitting atop the leaderboard. He'll tee off a little bit later than us here on round number two. But I need all of you all's one times. All the encouraging comments. You all are all legends. Thank you for all the support. Get some enjoyment. Drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And if you're looking for more videos in this series, check the full playlist I've linked in the description. But it is time. Let's go out there and dominate this golf course. EA Sports and the International Federation of PGA Tours are proud to present a World Golf Championship. Today from Chambers Bay in Washington, live second round coverage of the EA Sports Championship. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. And the leader is Billy Horschel. He's at nine under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer needing to go low here, currently eight shots off the front running pace. Hey, eight shots off the lead, that means there's no pressure, right? So not going to do a power drive, just got to send it in the fairway. They've got to fix that leaderboard glitch now that it shows even for all of them. It's amazing that that gets through, like, I the, the testing before a patch. Maybe, I guess, maybe nobody noticed it, but that's a pretty big thing to slip through. It says even for all the scores at the beginning, middle of the round, and end of the round. Hopefully that's something that is hot fixed pretty quickly. They're all even. Everybody's tied. <laughs> that one looking good. It's in the fairway here to start round two. And you all might want to get plenty of coffee or whatever you're drinking today. There's going to be a lot of birdies. I mean, I'm feeling it. Ryan Gamer worked and worked on studying the caddy book, studying the greens last night. Second he is dialed in. Up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. Yes, he's left himself 140 yards to the flag and the pin on the back portion in the left-hand side of this green. And there's like no win, so we can attack every single pin. It's going to be an awesome round of golf. Going to go finesse shot here. This could be a good one. Go in. Oh, Straight what a start. Guy. That's a great iron shot. In close. A great opportunity here for birdie. Can't let any of these putts. You can't overlook any of these putts. You have to be focused. Yes, what yeah, a start. That's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. That is and what we needed. The opening 69, he'll get it to one under for his round Tied here. Tied for 31st. Honestly, in these wins, we might be able to shoot eight under. Now, this is a fairway that's really tough to hit. I'm honestly just thinking about pulling out the hybrid. Power hybrid or drive hybrid and just put it in the fairway. Why Why even go for that? It's a short golf hole anyways. Jerry's going to be proud. The caddy's going to be very proud of Ryan's decision here. We missed the fairway in the heavy rough. Made our next shot difficult. I think that's a good decision. We'll see. So from right around the middle of the fairway, this is second. 131, uphill a little bit into a just barely any win. This is Ryan's wheelhouse. Full backspin on the pitching wedge. Aim at about 132. Aim right at the hole. Oh, 
Beautiful. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. A long one coming up here for birdie. Ball is below the feet, steady downhill. There's a lot of break in this short putt. Would have liked to have been a lot closer. Maybe we shouldn't have laid back, but it changed the past, right? Sent it. That's unfortunate. Ball is below the feet. Slide it up the hill. It looks like it's left to right to me. And it was. Good, good read. Ah, good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. I don't know if you all can tell, Will but I'm very focused. Right like, where he is. You may hear me talk less this round, but I'm very focused. We're going to make a comeback. Like, I want to win at the end of the day. And you know, I talk about this a lot. I want to win. I play well. Round number one. It was a battle. And I want to score better than that. 214 downhill. Going to go five iron down the hill here. And attack this with full backspin. I don't think we, we got to do drive shot. It's not going to be as accurate. But we can get more spin out of it. Problem is the shot dispersion. You just don't know where it's going to go. That's just fine. Maybe a Texas wedge for Jerry. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Maybe the Texas wedge. Uh, I don't know about this Texas wedge. No. It's got to be the chip shot. That's the safest shot to hit. Had the line beautifully. Just got to hit it harder. Ball is below the feet. To me, it looks like a steady left to right. Going to go left edge. Beautiful. Nicely done. It is a par here at the third. One under through and three. What a great right start. We just have to keep attacking every single hole. Now this one, Jerry did add to the caddy book. Aim way left. So we are not risking missing the fairway to the right. I don't mind to miss it to the left. We are not missing it to the right. This one starting a little left off the tee. Jerry made that very clear last night over dinner. Jerry probably over dinner said, talked so about this far. hole a hundred times. The rough, so just the first fairway miss today. Ryan was just trying to have a good meal, you know, and Jerry was just sitting over there talking about golf. And Ryan's like, you know, can, can we just, can we just focus on dinner for now and focus on golf later? And Jerry just never understood what Ryan was saying. 182 uphill quite a bit gonna just make sure we get this up and over onto the green oh no was not going for an over swing there hmm from the rough into the bunker or the frying pan that's a heartbreaker fire. sometimes mistakes they just have a way of compounding themselves it's worked on the pick shot a lot. Let's see if it pays off. And it has. There we go. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Just beyond the hole. Super job there out of the bunker. Ball is below the feet. Easy left to right. Send it in. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here Now, four. last time, if you all remember, we and hit it. Remain the right bunker. Where he is. Into the bunker again. It still got par. So, we didn't do any better score-wise. We definitely played the hole better. But we had this long par four gotta send it it's nice playing in low winds here i do feel like we're gonna have one round this week that's gonna be like 15 mile an hour wind and we'll cross that yeah that's a nice cross those the conditions when we get there it's gonna be a tee shot that is set up just fine but need to score here with low winds like this is when you have to score you have to attack so what do we have with the approach shot here at the fifth just got to be cognizant of that bunker that's uh, you can see it there that's just central front of this green you either got to go around it, or if you're good enough, Not afraid. then you go straight over it. But Just you got to have a ton of spin on the second shot. Good chance at one. That's the shot. You have to attack every hole Rich, at this point. Like that's one thing about good iron play. When you hit it and it comes off the club face, 
You know it's going to be close. More evidence there. Ball is below the feet. Steady left to right break the entire way. Going to hit this aggressively up the hill. Send it in. Yes. Yes. A good read. It's a birdie here at five. Get your coffee, everybody. Cheers. At least the leaderboard works bar. there. At least that shows the right score, right? Because that's the big one. Please find the fairway. That one looking a little right. Yes, what a gift. Can't say Chambers Bay never gave us anything. Uh, that got a fortunate bounce. Uh, it'll be just fine. That will be just fine right, what now. What do you think about this approach here at the sixth? Well, one of the few greens here that's protected on both sides. Rather narrow green. And you can see really what happens if you miss. Bunkers left and right. Plus there's a couple of ridges. So club not selection afraid. is important here. But yeah, if you all remember that what I was about to say at the Players' Championship, we had the worst luck. But then now at this course, we've had great luck this week. Some great bounces. Just going to aim for the green. Nothing fancy. Got to go approach shot to get a little more spin. I don't think you... I know I say attack everything, but I just don't think it's worth it here. And a good iron shot. Just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish. But still. Going to have to give this a pretty good thump. This is well back there and into the hill. Yeah, it's up the hill. It's 0.3 degrees below the feet as well. One time. Good effort. Very yep, good effort. Not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. It's a really good effort. You know, you want to make you want to make them, but it broke a little more than I expected. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And we have stay we're six strokes three. off the lead, and we're in 19th place. Now, keep in mind the leaders haven't played yet, and very scorable conditions. We'll see. Just got to put this in the fairway. That's always my goal with Chambers Bay. You all know me. I historically miss fairways, especially in PGA 2K23 career. But I think our fairway average in this series is not as high as you would expect. But Chambers ah, Bay, I come in for this fine light. fairways. Run of timing. Of fairway and into the rock. Of timing to they miss the them. fairways. What was that, Ryan? You say you find fairways? What was that? Now, in that great lie, 95, 100% lie here in the rough. Up the slope. Gonna aim at about 172. Ball's going to fly off to the right just slightly. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet? Excellent shot. Thank you, Frank. Ball is above the feet here. Steady down the slope. Hit it too firm. Plus 2.1%. We had the line. Just five feet left. Balls below the feet. Up the slope. It's going to be left to right. We just saw the break. Going to be quick too. That's a heartbreaker. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. Never going to complain and about a tap in par right though. But where he is. Wow, that, that one hurts. It really does. Not gonna lie to you all and say it didn't, I didn't feel that because I felt every bit of it. I'm sending this. Oh no. It all bounces down the hill here though, right? Right? Yes, it does. What a gift. Well, maybe. Now this is the one last time we parred. We, we hit it. Onto the green and it rolled well, all the way to the right. There's bad bounces. That was a good one. I think we go for it again. I really do. Got a funnel left. It's got a funnel left. No. It's a trap. 
It's a trap. And I fell for it again. No shot. No, no shot. And that is going to be That's tough. That's not out of bounds. Into the heavy there stuff. is no shot. That ball rose down through the weeds that far. Am I wrong in thinking that? Let me know what you all think. Hole number eight here. There is no shot that ball rose down that much. No shot. No shot. But. <laughs> Board in the yeah, rough. That's why. What a shot. Nicely done. All by Phil there. Just six feet left. Was feeling confident break. going into that one. So to me. It says ball above the feet. I just don't see break. I'll look at it from the other side. Yeah, it is. It's right to left. Mm, a good I didn't see that much. There. These break. These greens are so tough to me. Always have been. Like they they break so much okay, more than you expect. In for his par. And that would have been massive. Right where he is. I need some coffee. Cheers, everybody. I know it's not a birdie, but I need something after that. Now, we know the club for this. Oh. Whoops. Right now, it's going to be a six iron. Around. That's a perfect swing if we calculated it correctly. May go too far or be perfect. Well, you don't just hit the shot sometimes. You maneuver it. And that's a really good example right there. Beautifully executed. You don't just hit the shot. You maneuver it. That's right. Ball is below the feet. Steady left to right putt down the slope. Not going to be easy. There are no easy putts at Chambers Bay. One time. One time, and get in there. Well done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. Should be and that is going to finish back off to back. We don't know. Front we're side we're in they go out in 32. But the leader's at minus nine, right? So we're five off the lead, but that should be two in a row. It's all right. Can't change the past. Just focus on the future, right? What a front nine. Three under. You talk about a bounce back after round number one. We are well in the cut line. Let's keep this going. Thank you all Looking for all the for encouragement, all the one times. On Cheers. Friday to get set up for the weekend in that another good drive. What you here. all got today doing this video? You got coffee? You got something Second else? Shot now from right. Taking the healthy way out yards. with some water. Probably should drink some water. Cheers. Yeah, hundred yards uphill. Full loft. Attack. We are dialed in like not gonna be an easy putt though. There's gonna be a lot of breaks. Is here. that eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach shot. There's his favorite saying. What is that? What is that? Eight or nine feet? I don't know about that. <laughs> I wonder if he brought his tape measure today. Ball is below the feet, steady left to right. It looks like to me it's uphill quite a bit, so we can be pretty aggressive. That broke left. Mm, that's going to slide on by. That's a ball below the feet. I guess it was below the feet right away and then shifted. Welcome to Chambers Bay, everybody. Like, wow. So that's in for par to start this backside. And he'll remain at four under. Uh, that'll that'll crush you. Hey, we're in eighth place. We're playing great. Just got to keep fighting, right? That's what it's all about. It's all about the fight. Can't hear any fans here, right? We'll hear them next. One of the few holes where I do pull out, Wait, the, pull, the, pull out the power drive. Because it's wide open. Shot. Like, why not? Just send it. So okay. where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. 
190. Got to go approach shot for spin. Take a little bit off. So we're going to have to go 7 iron here. Oh, this is actually going to be perfect. A little bit overpowered 7 iron. That is just beautiful. Got the left side of the dispersion zone, Early but that's part fine. Of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. Ball is above the feet, off the slope slightly. To me, it looks like right to left the entire way. It may flatten out at the end, though. Never mind, it didn't flatten out at the end. Just gonna sneak on by. That's golf. Can't make them all, right? Like, you're not, especially on this golf course, like, you're going to be fighting. You're going to be fighting on each so read here without the grids. In for par here at 11. It's hard enough with the and grids on on this right course. Like, where he is. Question is... Jerry and Ryan had a long discussion on this golf hole at dinner last night. Jerry said full send. Ryan thinking laying back. We got to go with the caddy, so we are full sending. Oh, he's taking a big run at this. I don't know about this. Oh, maybe if it comes all the way down. Jerry, you're a genius. A round of applause for the caddy. I mean, that is a sight to behold. What a spectacular shot we just saw on the par four with a drive in one. That was incredible, but we have to appreciate, or not appreciate, we have to respect the amount of downhill that we have in this putt. Ball is above the feet. Not only is it going to be steady right to left, this putt is going to be extremely fast. I played it. I, I, I short. I thought I barely tapped that so ball. But early on the back side here at the 12th hole. Knew it was going to be fast. But a straightforward look here for birdie. Ball is above the feet. The ball is below the feet. Well, it's, we saw the break. It's left to right up the slope. So it's, it's just like it rode. It shouldn't be that complicated. Nah, no that's shot. Slide by to the left. Good work to get into that position, but. Couldn't finish it off. I blame Jerry. <laughs> Jerry talked about the drive so much over dinner. You know what he did not talk about? The green. That I never saw that break at the end. Beginning we had that right, one but safely in. It's a par here at twelve. Oh, I love the fight on this back nine though. Right like where he is. There is no really birdie opportunities on this back. You just have to fight and grind. Wow. Might be the funnest tournament of the season so far. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another. Good I think drive the most here. fun was probably the battle between Ryan Gamer and Jason Day as a final pairing. That was epic. Now this is a part four and how much green do we have? 203 to the front. We have plenty of green. I think we're getting four iron here into the win. Be the one, please. Please hold. That is gorgeous, but we have to make it. Mm, and how about that for a nice approach from way out? That one finds the green with a birdie putt on tap. It's got to find our confidence here on the greens. The right side of the screen is way over the, like, way above the left side the whole way on this putt. This is a steady right to left. It's got to break quite a bit. Perfect speed. Oh, no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. We are fighting, right? This back is a okay, battle. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. 
and he'll stay right hey where i have he to is. say I'm, I'm very proud of the score we have so far in this course i was expecting to possibly be around even or over par after the first two rounds here so like i'm very proud of where we are but of course we want to be better and we're going to keep grinding we never give up you all know me You all know Ryan, and he finds these bunkers. One, but ultimately, it winds up in the bunker. Now, here's be the careful question. Not to take much, if any, sand here. Do we get over this? this. Par four. I think we do. That was so nerve-wracking. <laughs> that was so nerve-wracking. Bounce right. No, sand to sand, the Ryan Gamer way. Well, one bunker to another, not a habit anyone wants to get into. This is the, the shot Ryan's worked on the most. Thump to fly it to the hole. Beautiful. Oh boy, just about flew that one in the hole. Luckily got it to stop. Not a bad shot. It looks right to left for me just slightly. Now, one of the things in the Players' Championship, Ryan struggle was short game. No issues Go there. Remember. It is a par here at Now, 14. last week at the at Band of Dunes, he didn't struggle at anything. This one, I don't feel like we're struggling. We're playing great golf, right? That's what it's about. Just battling. Fighting this course. Three under. Bounce back round after the first round. I think we go five iron here. Shot off to the right of the dispersion zone. Get lucky. Get lucky. That's actually not a bad miss at all. Unless. Oh, that's a great miss. We can pitch this one up and or that chip it. One not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Actually, no, we've got a we've got a flop shot this, right? Oh, we could hit the spinner shot. Nope. Nope. Some of you were getting nervous. You said, R R Ryan, you said you weren't going to hit that shot this week. You were right. I will in not short situations like this, but I will in some. Well, maybe I should have hit it over that. Thought that this was the safest shot. Right side looks higher than the left. It says level right at the feet, but... Yeah, it's definitely right to left. At least it looks like it. We're about to find out. What a read! Yeah, good putt. Come on! Par here at 15. Right side was just right above the left. Is. I didn't really see it until looking at it from the other side. Great read. That's an excellent par save. We shouldn't have been in that situation in the first place. But just messed up that flop. Probably shouldn't have hit it. And at the end of the day, we can't change it. But what a par save. Really strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend. And that, another good drive that here. That is gorgeous. Now, this is when we pull out the pitch shot. Or maybe spinner. So not this a is when we pull out spinner. Go here as he'll set up his second for this par four. We definitely pull out the spinner here. Beautiful. Okay, not too bad there. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Problem is, when this ball starts, it's a, it's very downhill at the beginning. It's going to break more. It's, it's left to right. Got to take a look at this from the other side. I wish there was a quick way to like push a button and switch to the other side like you can on 2K23. Yes. Ah, that a pure roll there. That is down for a birdie here. We got at a birdie on the back. Get your coffee. And Cheers, now everybody. To five under par. Wow. Hole number seventeen. We were sitting five under for the tournament. Four under on the day. What an incredible bounce back round. Got to go. Normal drive shot. Two on one to the front of the green. 
It's gonna roll a lot. Should bounce right. Beautiful. If I don't underswing that, it okay, might be right next to the hole. Knowledge there. He gets that ball to work back on to the green. And now a birdie putt coming up. Local knowledge. Hey, we study. 17. Yeah, and this is the sort of putt that he can have a good run at, ever so slightly up the hill with a hint of movement from left to right. I don't study, but Ryan does. <laughs> Ryan and Jerry study. I don't study. Left to right, up the slope. Not much break. Okay, I don't know. There was way more than a little break. Good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. Balls above the feet, steady right to left. Got to make these. Yes. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. Flawless no round so far. At five under. No bogeys on the day. We are four off the lead. Yeah, they haven't played. No, we don't. We don't send a power drive here. We kind of hold back a little bit here. I just wanted the fairway. I just wanted the fairway. Nothing fancy. Give me the fairway. And that will do just fine. I want a birdie. I'm not playing for poor, I'm not playing for bogey here. Not playing for eagle either. Now from way back, better than 300 yards, a second to the par five. Be the one, please. Just playing smart here at Chambers Bay, right? That's what he wanted to do after the tee shot. On this himself one. in really good position here on the par five. To full loft. Going with the spinner. Just gorgeous. That is absolutely fine. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. All is below the feet, 0. 0.5 degrees. Steady left to right up the slope. These are the ones you have to make. These are the ones champions make. One time. One time! Yeah, that's a good putt yes. there. It's a birdie at 18. That is so how you remember, finish. No cut here in this event. Our future Come on. golfer with work to do over the weekend to try and claim this EA Sports Championship. There isn't a cut, but it is a very high quality field. So in the end, you're still gonna have to play your best golf this week. What an incredible round of golf. That is a three under on the front, a two under on the back. It was par city for the first six holes on the back. Last three holes, Ryan goes birdie, par, birdie. What a battle. Where are we sitting? So 13th place, right? Tied for 13th place going into moving day. Billy Horschel puts up a 65 on the day, just like Ryan. Ryan got the 65 as well. That is 14 under. We are plenty strokes back here on this tournament, but you never know. Eight strokes back. Anything can happen. Ryan Gamer can do this. If we have a big moving day and dominate, we may be able to win this tournament. Now, my goal is to get into that top 10, top five. Billy Horschel, Webb Simpson, Luke List, Lucas Glover, Aaron Wise, Alex Smalley, Tony Finau, Cameron Percy. Nothing I would love more than a final pairing of Ryan Gamer and Tony Finau playing in both in the top five. That would be epic. And we may see that on moving day. Another cut made. Thank you all so much for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe for more, and you can check the full playlist in the description if you're looking for the rest of the episodes here for this tournament. And it could be that the full series is already live. Ryan Gamer is a multi-sport athlete on the channel. Check out his other sporting endeavors on the channel as well. He's busy right now. Five sports going on at the same time. WWE 2K23, NBA 2K23, MLB The Show 23, of course, this game, and also PGA 2K23 as well with more coming in the future. And he's played plenty in the past. But I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.